A new report says unlike Los Angeles and other cities, San Diego may not be able to afford a new stadium for the Chargers. KUSI's John Dupree got an early look at this soon-to-be-released report. So there it is, San Diego's pie in the sky, a glitzy new NFL stadium complete with seats, 68,000 of them. But who will sit in those seats? It's families that have enough disposable income to afford $70, $80 tickets and possibly on the, on the front end, five, seventy-five hundred, ten thousand dollars for a personal seat license. Enter Eric. Eric Bruvol is president of the National University Institute of Policy Research. He and his colleagues have been cutting through the hype, looking for the answer to the question, can San Diego afford a new stadium for its professional football team? The answer, says Bruvold, is found somewhere in the middle of an elaborate graphic he put together, a graph that reveals how many Chargers fans can afford to buy PSLs, personal seat licenses. Let's get an understanding of how we compare to other existing NFL markets and how we compare to Los Angeles. From the New York Jets and Giants on the high end, where nearly two and a half million people have six-figure incomes, to Green Bay, where a few thousand Packers fans bring in six figures, and right in the middle, San Diego. Will those fans agree to pay most of the cost of a new stadium? But if you look at what's gone on with the other NFL deals, two-thirds is probably the number. And that is the question we put tonight to the mayor. Two-thirds of the cost of building a billion-dollar-plus stadium. Is that something that you would ever take to the taxpayers of San Diego? There's been a lot of reports and ideas over the years. And for the first time, what I've said is I want a real plan that has some real numbers that is fair to taxpayers, that is a plan that San Diegans will support. I'm not interested in a plan that I don't think is a good deal financially. I'm only interested in success. And that's why we have to have the group together that's crunching all the numbers. That very quickly here, we'll have a, you know, a real financing plan that San Diegans will get to weigh in on, get to kick the tires, and ultimately voters will have you know, their say and approval. John Dupree, KUSI News. Mm. Well. And joining us now for a closer look uh, at this study, Mark Larson, KCBQ radio host and contributor here at KUSI. That's Mark, right, AM 1170, the answer every yeah, morning. Yeah, every morning, right. yeah. Uh, 80, uh, you know, 85, uh, what, am I, what am I looking at? 65% of the cost is what we're potentially looking at according to yeah, this study. Yeah, that's a fascinating 800, study. 800 million of the 1.3, 1.5 billion. I mean, where is this city going to come up with oh, that kind little, of money? a little fee here, a little fee there. Uh, I mean, you know how this goes. Saying, you know, uh, I think a couple of things are going on. On. Number one, it's a very eye-opening and lucid and important study, certainly, as you would expect from, from those folks. But the, the way this is coming down, I think that San Diego has to really get used to the idea that maybe the Chargers do move. Yeah. Now, that can be shocking. People don't want to hear it. The rally last Monday night was terrific before the, the big town hall meeting. But when you get into that personal seat license issue, people haven't quite factored that in yet. It just sounds like code, you know, acronyms, PSL. If it's 7,500 or 10,000, as Eric said, in, in that uh, survey, in, in that report, that's a lot of uh, a lot of shekels, if you will, mm -hmm. and it's and at 70 to 80 is on the low end. A lot of the tickets. All I know is that the people who are in New York, for example, and I think I might have mentioned before, there's a billionaire friend of mine. He gripes about the personal seat license at Yankee Stadium, and the tickets there for the really good seats are in the thousands. Right, and he has four of them. So then you get down to the whole marketplace issue, and I would love the Chargers to stay here. I've been here for all these years, almost 40 years, and they've been. A big part of the community, but th there's a lot of gambles, not just with that report and what we build here. Um, there's also some upside in building something, whether the Chargers are here or not. You know, that's another part of this. But the market size is the market size, and there's a lot of people in Beverly Hills and, and who love those big suites and are prepared to pay that, and they can turn it into uh, into business. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of access to uh, people and their opinions, uh, Chargers fans on your yeah. radio show. What, has the tenor uh, changed? Uh, about a little crankier last couple of days from people, and we see this on social media too. They say, "Hey, I'm a diehard Dodger, uh, Dodger for good grief, diehard oh. uh, Charger fan." That came from some deep dark that place. Horrible, I'm a Padre Mark. fan. Really I'm, I'm going to need an exorcism <laughs> on that one. Uh, I'm mean, just thinking about this LA stuff makes me crazy. Let's look at it. They deserve the Raiders in LA. I mean, really, mm -hmm. it fits the mindset. But you'll hear people saying, "I'm a diehard fan," but if they move, if they think I'm just going to move up there. They're wrong. 
And plus, there's a lot more expense because it's going to be. It's not going to be cheaper up there. It's still going to be expensive, maybe more expensive, mm-hmm. in that kind of a scenario. So that's where the Chargers have to analyze the gamble here too. That if they say, "Oh, we'll move," and if it's real crowded with one or maybe two other teams, as could be the case, all clamoring for the same marketplace, you better be a really good on the field, and you better have a whole lot to offer because it's not a case of if you build it, the San Diego fans will come. Some will. Some will be diehard. Over time, there may be next generation that just says, "Oh, no big deal." They've got so many fans but, in LA, and I have a yeah, lot yeah. of friends in Orange yeah. County that are just hoping that you know that yeah. they'd be closer. I still go back to something we mentioned a few weeks ago, early part of this. We talked about a focus group that I heard got some sources on it, where LA fans were saying, out of all the teams moving, they were least excited about the Chargers because they liked the rivalry mm-hmm. with the two times. So, and again, they deserve the Raiders, you know, with all the rock and sock and matches. Supervisor uh, Roberts has said basically, you know, we're possibly. Uh, Willing to lend the city the money, the county, like a bridge the city loan. the money yeah. uh, in a bridge loan. Yeah. But can this be done without public funds? I mean, if the county says, okay, we'll any up public Public's paying for it somewhere. It's going to be paid for in parking. Yeah, taxes, it, eventually, you know, yeah. And but, a lot of talk about it's a buck a month. Maybe it's $12 a year. There's a lot of different uh, formulas going. What's really going to be important is to see the task force now moving at lightning fast speed. Because I get the sense that after I talked to the mayor this morning on AM 1170 and off the air, that uh, this 90-day window is, is even even tighter because you know just last night up in Carson they're busy Mark Fabiani was up there helping get the paperwork going yes. for this ballot measure they're trying to take it there and the other the Cronky uh, uh, plan in uh, in Englewood and try to fast track those through so the people don't have a vote I guess where I'm going is, so. can this be done without a referendum they think it can up there if we tried it down here we've seen what happened in recent no years people would say no and blankety yeah. blank no because I think yeah. people have to uh, you know this, this is different this is where San Diego is the big town and a small town body yeah. and and I think if you if you are the Chargers and you take the fan base for granted, I think that's a problem. I think you pick a fight that's not necessary. So uh, hopefully, cooler heads will prevail. And you know, again, uh, it was high hopes for the task force. But when Fabiani comes out this week, bless his heart, and says, "Well, we're not really interested in the Qualcomm site," that's a challenge because it's that or downtown. Sure. That's what they're talking. Yeah. This is all going to come to a head or the, be resolved right. very shortly. In a, ten days, this uh, committee is going to come forward with yeah. their recommendation. Uh, right, that it's it's going to be, Could be that, sooner yeah, I mean, they, rather they than later to, because everything's moving up. How the to road pay for it and where to put it? Right. And so, right. um, how soon do you anticipate the Chargers will say yay or nay? And could this just be all wrapped up and the Chargers moving along in a month? Yeah, uh, I mean, at the play through this season, um, we'll see. Again, there's a long timeline. If they say yeah, San Diego, we like that, but then you got to hope that it passes next year, gets on you know gets on the ballot and passes. They can move a whole lot and are moving a whole lot faster up in L.A., uh, they would have some temporary facilities up there, too. Uh, there's also a question about generational issues here, where uh, you go back to Grandpa Spanos and, you know, Dean running the team now, and his, his kids are now mm-hmm. the next generation to run it, and who knows how the lights of Hollywood are yeah. are attracting the next generation. And then if they leave town, there's always that political fallout for Mayor Faulkner. That's the question we're going to discuss the next time you come yeah, in, because we're out right. of time, I'm told. That's right, but he's yeah. busy. I mean, he's, he's, taking, yeah, he's trying. taking charge, and he's yeah. trying to get it done quickly, and and what they've got to do is get more of those meetings going on, not in the public arena. I mean, we can we can hear, find out what's there, but they got to get the work done. And both sides need to be careful about sure. stepping too far and irritating the other accidentally. Yeah. Mark yeah. Larson, yeah. always yeah. great to see you. All right, see All you right. soon. Thanks, Mark.